cup of tea first and then we'll get into the video. Oh, that's good. Okay, it's good to see you again, right? It's been probably, it's been just over a month. I got back to Scotland after traveling for two years through Australia, New Zealand and Canada on the 5th of July. So this is the 16th of August, so it's pretty much about six weeks ago or something like that, that I came back. And while I was in Canada, some of you know that I enrolled myself into a web development course. And the web development course is something that allows you to learn how to build websites and mobile apps. And the reason why I want to do that is because that's a job that you can do from anywhere with a Wi-Fi connection, making me able to work as a digital nomad and um, be able to be location independent and choose where I want to work rather than focusing or sorry rather than having to rely on a physical job that makes me fixed in a location. So since arriving back in Scotland my family have kindly provided me with um, some space to which I can use to study and I can come and go as often as I like. Um, now yes, it is a garage, um, but it comes fully equipped with Wi-Fi. I can come and go as often as I like, and then I'm not disturbing my family, because I have, I do study quite a lot, and I do go there quite a lot, and I am there quite late at night. So, you know, it just means I can come and go without making noise or waking anybody up, and. It just makes everything so much easier. Now, I am staying at my grandparents' house while I'm in Scotland, and my grandparents, because they're my grandparents, they're not up to date with technology, and they don't have Wi-Fi. So, they don't want Wi-Fi, so that means that's why I'm not studying there, and that's why I'm studying here. So, the sixth month plan for me um, is to basically complete the web development course, and then, once I've completed the web development course, I can then start um, to do and complete small freelance gigs that will allow me to complete basic web development tasks for other people that I can then basically build up my web development resume. Um, now, I'm just starting off, gonna, I'm gonna start off small, you know, I'm don't, I don't wanna go and get myself into uh, complicated tasks or work right away just want to complete those small tasks just because I've never worked as a freelancer before so it just these small tasks um, will just make everything not about money and it will just make everything more about building a reputation and getting um, good reviews on my freelancing profile and um, basically just building relationships um, so that's kind of like the plan going forward um, and this video series is basically going to be a monthly update um, showing you, sharing with you my progress towards becoming a develop, um, that's not what I want to say, this is um, me sharing my progress with you um, towards becoming an experienced web developer um, from a beginner web developer, if you like, um, if that makes any sense. So me going from a beginner, which is what I am right now, to uh, an experienced web developer in the future. And I'm going to be doing monthly videos, sharing with you basically everything that I've achieved each month. This is going to be what I've achieved in the first four weeks of starting this course um, since the 5th of July. Let's get into it. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to move on to the next bit. And I have my laptop here and it's basically just allowing me to uh, stay on course with everything that I'm trying to tell you. So uh, I'm going to show you a picture right now and this picture is basically um, the three courses that I'm doing on Udemy.com. And for those of you that don't know what udemy.com is all about, it's basically, as you can probably see, it's um, a website that allows you to take online courses. 
and you can study them at your own pace and you basically um, you basically study and learn new things that's basically what this website is all about and they're actually really good value for money you can see I've got two other courses there as well so I've got a social media management course that I'm 30% complete and the complete digital marketing course which is 1% complete if we dive into this course you'll see that there's a H there's a couple of sections there there's HTML5 there's CSS3 the other sections JavaScript and query will be in next month's update video HTML stands for hypertext markup language so it's basically the language that you're writing your code in and um, basically HTML is basically allowing you to structure your web page it allows you to add the content um, and that's basically about it when you move on to uh, the next section below that which is CSS3 um, basically CSS stands for cas cascading style sheets and what this does is this allows you to style your HTML so this allows you to add sizes and colors and allows you to align things into the center of the page and everything like that. Moving on to the next part then, uh, obviously when you go through HTML and CSS and you're a beginner like me, some some bits are a bit you know, problematic, you know, they're a bit difficult so you, you need to figure some things out for yourself and there's a few, there's a couple of websites that I've used that were recommended to me by this course that I'm studying and it's w3schools.com um, and you can see there that you know they've got quite a lot of content you know on the on the left hand side you've got lots of HTML um, you know things there you've got images labels lists classes frames all that kind of stuff and, and you can really you can really learn a lot from this website you know if there's anything that you're stuck on I can go there and I can look it up and it tells me exactly how to do it and then I just put it into my web page and it helps me out like that um, the next website is Stack Overflow um, now this is this is a website that I go to Stack Overflow I go to this when W3 Schools doesn't have an answer for me also I find uh, while I'm going through HTML and CSS what I found was writing down the code on paper is very handy for me because um, when it comes to complex stuff, um, mathematical stuff, um, I'm very slow at you know absorbing that. Um, I was never good at that kind of stuff in school and that was one of the reasons why I was hesitant to take web development in the first place because I thought I wouldn't be able to do it because I wasn't good at maths but that is not entirely true. Um, I've found that I'm doing this quite well um, some parts take me longer to complete than others just because it's a little bit more complex um, but what I have found was writing down the code the HTML and the CSS on paper um, as you can see here you know it helps me to absorb everything and process everything and memorize everything so much easier so this part of the video um, after explaining what I've learned and the processes that I use to help me learn is, is basically what I've achieved in in this four, last four weeks so what I've achieved in the last four weeks is basically um, you know I've basically built the home page of the BBC's website now to some of you especially if you're experienced in web development this is quite a small thing but for somebody like me who's a beginner who's never ever done anything like this in their life to be able to go and build the home page of BBC News's website it's a huge achievement for me and it's a it's definitely a step a massive step forward in the direction that I want to go um, you know being able to do something like this is took me this one giant leap forward you know to the digital nomad lifestyle that I've been wanting to create for myself for the last two years so this is a major step for me while I've been doing this I've also been tinkering around with um, just building my own personal stuff and I'll, I'll show you a clip of it uh, it's basically um, Kyle down under it's basically like a, just 
me playing around with some of the photos and stuff that I had of my one year in Australia, just trying to use what I've learned in HTML and CSS um, and just basically do something on my own that's out with the course. And two, that, that also helps you to do something and memorize it and, and, and basically just get to grips with everything because you're not relying on somebody on the course. You're just relying on yourself and your knowledge that you've processed throughout the course. Like I, I just, I, I really, I really enjoyed the past four weeks. I think the things that I've been able to achieve, although they're small to some people who are more experienced, but this is massive for me and especially for any beginner out there who is learning web development. And I'm just happy. I'm happy of my achievement because I thought I would never be able to do it. And there I am. I'm sitting here right now and I've been able to build the BBC News website. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy with my progress. I'm happy with my progress. So that is HTML and CSS. And that's what I've achieved with it. Um, next month, so four weeks from now, um, I will also have another update video with what I've been able to achieve um, building on from HTML and CSS. Um, uh, right now, I am halfway through uh, JavaScript and jQuery. Um, so uh, it's a little bit more complex and it allows you to build much more powerful websites. And um, I'm happy with progress so far and I'm sure you'll be um, this time from four weeks from now. So thank you for watching. But by the way, I'm going to upload videos between now and then, but you know, just for this video, this monthly update video series, that will be when the next one is. But do stick around, subscribe to the channel because there'll be more videos between now and then. All right. Okay. Thank you very much for watching again and see you next time.